Hey guys, got a treat for you here. We're going to show you how to use the sci-fi board and the J4 Torque. Real quick, and just how to go through all the settings. First, go to sci-fi board. Make sure you download that and have that in your apps here. Go and take out the screws over your grip cover. So you can access the tournament lock. This is uh, the 564th screw. Turn your gun on. You'll see it blink. Hit the turning lock, which is the red button in there. The light will turn white. When you open the Sci Fi app, it'll pop open here. Now, if you have the app open and you hit the turning lock in the grip frame, you may have to hit the scan button up there in the corner. Right now it's reading the parameters. And there we have boot up voltage, number of shots fired, where the battery's at. Board is currently unlocked in XL ramping, 18 balls per second, the eye is enabled. Start here with the eye view. Right now, this means the eye can see itself. Put your finger right here and something else, you can see that that value changes. Now, the nice part is this variable here, the eye threshold, you can change at a later date, but right now, 350 has been working very good for us. Right now, no shots fired. Under profiles, you can change profiles that have different settings and related. And you can also rename them, like, let's see, legit one. Save. So you have different profiles saved in here. And there are other, you can adjust your LED brightness, you hit factory reset. You can change your Bluetooth name. So this is Torque V10, but I can name this black and gold. Which didn't do anything. <laughs> we'll talk to Brandon on that one. Update. Bluetooth image. Again, you can take a picture of your gun and you can save it here and go through your list of images you want for that. Under trigger and eye, you have trigger delay, dwell, eye threshold. That's where we can adjust it right here. Eye delay, dwell, ball in place, delay, and then uh, eye hardware on is break, boot on, and we can uh, we can change these to some extent, but for the most part, just leave them where they are. Under timing, here's a big one. Right now, I have the solenoid set to 12 milliseconds. We're playing around. We can find sometimes that uh, the system will run just fine on six milliseconds. Uh, but if you want a little smoother shot and more consistent, no first shot drop off, turn it to 12, maybe 20, depending on your gun and setup. As we start adjusting some of the other parameters, we may have some components that will change this timing in the future. Luckily, to change timing, it's really easy. You can adjust it by the tenth to exactly what you want. And it's already updated. And so you know exactly what your timing is. And we can also update it very, very quickly, very, very accurately. Your firing modes, similar situation. Changing your balls per second is, is very easy. Fold the gap allowed 3.5. I can go 3.4 and we're safe. And I can update it just like that. Down here, rate of fire with your eyes off. Uh, depending on your loader, you may want to turn that down to a lot less. Uh, or you may feel just fine ramping that up to uh, to 15 or 18. The gun will cycle easily at 25 balls per second. Again, ready to fire cap on off. Quick cap. In this case, different firing modes. User percentage ramping. God mode. Lord knows I need that. And there's a joke there. User burst. Semi-auto, full auto. Three shot burst. Auto response. PSP ramping. Millennial, millennium ramping. In Excel ramping. If this gets changed in the future, 
and we need to do it for a different uh, format or a game style that may, might not be out there yet, this all the software will be updatable through Sci-Fi Paintball. This will go across all the different platforms. So if it works on the Timmy or the Shocker and the other platforms he has out there, it'll, it'll be retrogradable and updatable through a USB cord right here, standard micro B, just like uh, a Tesla or anything else. All the software is updatable over in the future. So you're a bit future proof there. On top of that, you have G mode, gangster mode. You can enable or disable that as you want. That goes to the basic modes. After you're done, you can hit disconnect. As you're turning your gun off, again, notice the white light right there. Just to go back into play mode, one quick tap. Wait for the light there, tell you if you're, uh, what your signs are. And you're ready to play. That's it. That's how to set up in time the J4 Torque. Thank you very much.